Aww. Richard, Richard made that last night. Wasn't that great? Hi, everyone. We're so glad you're here. I ask that everyone stay muted for a little bit while I introduce Judy. We are going to be using the chat feature down here when we're not having our turn. When it is our turn, of course, everyone has the ability to unmute themselves. I'm introducing Judy. She's our author of the month. She was a background actress in the Titanic movie. She was very kindly introduced to us by Don Lynch, who's here with us. And um, this book was really, I hope everyone buys this. It's a journal of just from day one from her son saying, hey, mom, they're doing casting calls for this, you know, movie of Titanic. And and um, it just goes through her whole process of, you know, the interviewing process to, you know, getting on the bus to Rosarito, Rosarito um, Mexico. And uh, it's funny, it's enjoyable. It's, it's really a great way to see what happens behind the scenes when you're, when you're working in the background. And Judy also um, wonderfully explains how she met, you know, made friends there and, you know, some things are just very scary. Like she talked about, you know, having to learn how to scream or show her ability to scream from jumping off a, dive, a high dive, you know, into the pool. And you could, Judy had a great way of expressing herself and explaining what it was like to really just be there on the scene and, um, and her relationships she met and then how this led to her being in other movies like um, she played Molly Brown, Margaret Brown in Ghost of the Abyss and um, I'm totally blanking on the other movie, Secrets of the Titanic. I'll let her explain it, but um, I'm really glad you're all here to celebrate with us. The book club last weekend in preparation of this, we played Where's Judy and we watched all three movies and, and we watched, is that Judy? Is that Judy? It was really fun, like our own version of uh, Where's Waldo? Yeah, so here's the three movies that she was in, Richard, showing you. Oh, Last Mysteries, yep. And it was, and um, so while we were watching, Judy and her friend Ellen, who was also in the movie, came and they spent time with us. And it was wonderful to be watching these movies with them and just really getting to know them. And we just feel very grateful um, to be spending the 23rd anniversary of the movie with people who were there. And, uh, Judy, I'm just going to turn it over to you. And again, if people have questions, go ahead and put it in the chat. And I'm going to spotlight Judy. And I think you're already unmuted. Yeah. Are you unmuted? Oh, there you are. Welcome, Judy. Here I am. Hi. So, hi, everybody. A couple of you have seen already. Don. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, I put a couple more photos in there. You can see. Uh, there, Richard. I don't know if you're able to get those. But anyway, um, yeah, like Jill said, I got a call from my son one night and he he was working in the print shop up at Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo. And he started telling me about the casting call. And that's where it all started. We went down to the St. James Hotel, which was the first hotel I think in San Diego that had uh, the very first elevator and it was built in 1912. So that I guess that's why they had it there. It was quite interesting to find out a little bit of the history of that. So anyway, I'm just open to any questions that you have. And um, it's been an amazing 20 some odd years of stayed in touch with Don and Ken and uh, Parks. Parks lives here in San Marcos, uh, about five minutes away from me. And um, <laughs> I don't know what else you guys want want to know, but here we are. <laughs> um, just like to, you know, it's it's not just because of the movie. And I state that that. I've had an interest in Titanic ever since I was seven. And so I went down there, um, you know, just I wanted to meet everybody, see everything and do everything, which I ended up pretty much doing. <laughs> 
So you said you were interested since you were seven, I think I read in the back of your book. Yes. So, do you yes. remember? It seems a lot of um a lot of people in the book club, the majority actually started around that age. Do you remember the Oh yeah, I remember uh -huh. seeing the uh, Barbara Stanwyck Titanic. And back then <laughs> we used to get TV guides every week in the t in the the newspaper, the Sunday paper. So you kind of got to know when things would come on, like the Wizard of Oz would come on at the end of the year. Um, and certain times of year, they'd run Titanic. So I think it, they'd, you know, obviously it probably did it in April, but I would grab that and, you know, circle all the TV shows that I'd want to watch that week. <laughs> so that was my reminder. <laughs> oh, yeah. So... And, and what interests you? Were you kind of, you know, it seems like we're a little bit divided into people that are interested in the ship itself or people that are interested in the passengers or- It was the of... ship. It was the ship. And then when I got older and I started hearing about uh, Bob Ballard's expedition to find it, you know, I was just like, I was like on the edge of my seat waiting for that. And uh, when I got married, I, I, was able to go to the library and rent the uh, newsreels, um, 16 millimeter new newsreels, and I wow. you could you could get a projector, and I started having my kids watch it too. So um, I wasn't a big reader. I'm still not a big reader. I like books with pictures, mm -hmm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> lots of pictures. So, you know, I ended up getting uh, Don's book, the Don and Ken's first book that I got was, um, gosh, Don, I've got, I've got a few now, so I can't remember which one it was. Titanic <laughs> and Illustrated History. history. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then of course, uh, I got to meet all the people that you were behind the scenes, I had no idea who Kate and Leo was. So I wasn't there for Kate and Leo. You know, they were little kids to me. <laughs> My kids were their age. <laughs> so um, that's, I, I, when I walked out on the deck of that ship, especially at night on the set, and I'm sure Don can verify that, you just you could put yourself because we're right next to the ocean so we could hear the ocean too and on the one side with the where the the deck was complete and you could sit there and there were times when you could go up there and be by yourself and uh it was just surreal you know you could be out there and and you look up and down this practically full deck um i think it was 775 feet long and it was 11 stories tall so it wasn't small <laughs> and uh it, it was it was just amazing and of course they only had uh, the promenade deck and the boat deck of course on the top and then they had the um the wheelhouse and that was the only one that was complete everything else was a shell all the rooms were a shell and we would stay in there. That's where all the electrical was hanging and everything else. It's, it was, I took pictures of, of all kinds of stuff like that. And I think some of that made it onto the disc. I'm not sure. Yes, but, it did. I, uh, I was watching it the other day and there's all kinds of neat photos on that disc. So. Yeah. Yeah. Don and Ken, uh, we didn't actually get to meet them until after the filming. And, uh, but we had, had corresponded with him seemed like every time Don was on the set I was gone and every time uh I was on the set he wasn't there so and same thing with Ken because they were pretty much there together um but anyway let's see here uh da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, Bobby yeah. just woke up uh <laughs> no the whole ship was not complete it was just the uh, promenade deck, the boat deck, um, the wheelhouse had everything in it, and that was it. Everything else was a shell. You guys and, can also say you can, you know, you guys can also ask your questions in, in person if you want me to call on you. Um, you can just yeah. Say that you have a question. You know what I loved in your book is when you talked about coming, you know, you're coming in on the bus and you're like, 
who's this ship? <laughs> it was like, it's like, there oh, she yeah. is. There <laughs> she is. It's like, oh my gosh, we came up I over a hill. And it we just didn't know what to expect. I would love to it, see. It was, it was amazing. Yeah, because I went to see um, the Titanic Museum with Helen Benziger, um, Margaret Brown's great granddaughter, and she was, I fell uh -huh. asleep in the car and she's nudging me, Jill, the ship, the <laughs> ship. So I kind of have an idea. I'm like, oh, oh there All was, right, there was a lot of funny things, funny stories in San Diego, uh, you know, from people not knowing what was going on down there. And, and I don't know if it was Ellen or I or something or somebody heard something and they go they're building ships down there in Mexico <laughs> and, and it was our set <laughs> didn't they have to like blow up the area or something first or did I read that wrong I don't I don't, I don't remember Don would probably know better than than I would on that one well I think they just to to do the deep water tank I think they used explosives to loosen the dirt and you know but like any construction site but that was about it that's all I know of yeah yeah it, it was amazing it was uh, to see and everything was under construction i mean it was a mess it, there were people everywhere tractors everywhere um the main area where the quonset huts where they were building all the sets were finished uh that was on uh asphalt our parking lot we were knee deep in mud <laughs> when it went when it rained and uh it was dark. They had to get lights out there because the women were afraid to walk out there. And it was, just, it was awful. <laughs> wow. Oh, so Marianne, do you want me to call on you? Or do you want me to ask your question? I'm going to unmute her because she's got, and I didn't know. Let me see if I can get another I'm here. light on. Okay. I'm here. You ask your can you see me? And yes. Then, um, my question is, is how was it to be fitted for costumes? Did Deborah Scott work with you? Did you have um, change of clothes? How did that work? Oh my gosh. That was the first day. Wow. <laughs> it was, it was misery. <laughs> I would not expect misery. Sorry. <laughs> it was, it was horrible. I mean, we went in there and we, they lined us up. They wanted to know who had long hair. So Ellen and I both had long hair and we still do and hold on a second let me get see if i can get another light on yes thank you because i'm i'm kind of dark like you right yeah, now. yeah you're dark <laughs> i just turned my light off but i'll turn it back on maybe that'll ooh, too light too much <laughs> oh dear okay well <laughs> well i don't know if that helped <laughs> a little bit thank you <laughs> um i can see your smile now that's yeah, good okay so anyway uh they took us down there um they divided up up the girls of course in in age groups um they want and then all the hairdressers came out and we didn't know who was who so we had all the hairdressers coming out and they're lifting up our hair like this and they're going wow <laughs> look at that you know so because they didn't want to have to put wigs on us because we were going to be the third class passengers. And then they put us in, they, they had vintage clothing. And some of this stuff just absolutely reeked of mildew. Oh, no. And, oh, it was awful. Oh, and, no. And it was a whole day ordeal, you know. So they, they put... Uh, they actually gave me something that, that I put on and it made me break out all over my chest and my back and my arms. And I said, I can't wear this. And so they ended up getting something else, but they ended up having to wash it anyway. <laughs> yeah, I looked like I had the measles all over me because <laughs> I broke out so bad. <laughs> An itch. Uh, and then uh, besides the smell, um, it was just one of those things. A, a lot of the stuff came out right from England, from what I understand. And because uh, they packed it up and brought it all over here, all the vintage clothing, all the stuff the women wore. It was amazing. Of course, uh, I went down and I was supposed to be a second class passenger. I was supposed to be there for just three days. And um, they said, well, you're not 
we brought you down here and we're going to put you in the size three. And I went, I've never been in size three in my whole life. <laughs> Was that when you were going to be a first class? Because originally they had first, you first class first or class? second. I think it was first class, second class. One of them. I was supposed to be on the bike, uh, on the horse, in the in the gym when Kate and Leo were in there. When he pulls her in and says, "I, you're amazing," blah blah blah. And I was supposed to be in the background doing that. And they didn't have that scene anyway. So anyway, I said, "Is I, they said we want to make you a third class passenger?" And I said, "Is that good?" <laughs> so that was that was the beginning of all of it almost or just just shy of seven seven months wow. yeah <laughs> didn't they say they were gonna wash your dress like oh don't worry we're gonna wash your dress yeah and they did that was the one that they didn't and i ended up having to get it changed <laughs> take care of it all right terry's so. gonna start calling on people who are next oh hi judy Hi. Hi. Uh, I have a question. Um, did you end up in the water as well in the end of the movie? Oh, I was, yeah, we were in the water a lot. That was actually the first scenes we started shooting was in the water. And uh, yes, the water was cold. Uh, they actually heated it to like, I want to say like 72 or 76 degrees. So we all had uh, three male wetsuits on because uh, we were in there for so long uh, I think our longest day in was 11 hours uh, of course they have breaks but you got to go you know you still had that wetsuit on all the time so um, those were under our clothes it was it was quite an experience yeah I can believe that <laughs> thank you uh-huh the, the water out in the main tank was 52 degrees ocean water. So we had six mil suits out there. Yeah, I was in the water a lot. <laughs> I can't hear Hi, Melissa. Uh, yeah, I was trying to unmute. Um, yeah, I'm just curious because I'm in theater, mostly musical theater, and I was wondering, um, was it an issue for you to get hired because you weren't um, a union member? And when you did the movies, did it earn you a SAG union card? No, it did not. And it didn't matter. Uh, we were down in Mexico. Um, I am, let's see, you got to have two points or three points to get on SAG. I've only got two. Um, I did, if I had spoken, more than uh, what I did, um, which was help me. <laughs> That's all I said <laughs> um, when I was in the water. And um, if I had done more, I probably could have gotten my SAG card. But no, it wasn't an issue at all. I mean, there were they were there were hundreds of people around the block waiting to get in. Um, and I think it was just a matter of the type of people that they were looking for. I, I, right. I don't know how they did it, but that was, that was the, uh, it took us a couple hours to get through the line and, and get everything. There's Ellen. Ellen's here. Yay. That was it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hi, Ellen. Welcome. Mary, I think you're next again. Yes, thank you. I have a two part question. OK. First is, did you get any memorabilia from either the movie set or anything related to it? Yes. Second question is, did you go to a private screening or the premiere? Uh, yes, to both of those. OK. Uh, we went. Uh, I actually salvaged a newel post from the, the staircase. It's uh, on my Facebook page or my Instagram page. Uh, Jill posted some stuff. Yeah, we have some it. too with Richard has some, um, do we have yeah. one of that? Do we have that picture? I don't, I don't have that image, um, but- Oh, you uh, don't? I do have a bunch of others we can roll through at a different, uh, whenever you're ready. Yeah. Which one uh, was that again? Sorry, I'll look in my- Anyway, I salvaged the newel post from the uh, debris field that they 
they made when they uh, discarded a lot of the, or all of the set. Um, and I actually restored it. Um, so I've got, I've got a ticket. I've got one of the wicker chairs that was actually what we call a floater. Um, I've got one of the plates. Some of the stuff yet we had to get after the fact and uh, we weren't allowed to actually take anything from the set. I don't know why it was, a, it was in a huge pile when, when we started to, to leave the set. I mean, you look out there and it was just, it had been bulldozed and piled up and all the interior sets were taken out into a field in Mexico and, and dumped. Um, oh. It was really kind of sad. Um, they still, I don't know if they still have stuff down there or, or not. Don, have you heard? If I think they finally sold the property. I don't think there's anything left there. No. Yeah, I think because the studio had that Fox exploration thing, but I think they finally sold the lot and just shut it all down. Oh, did they? Yeah. So, but we went back down there. Of course, we did Ghost of the Abyss and um, Last Mysteries um, when Jim did the live feed. Um, there were, they didn't use a whole lot of, of us, even though we were, down, we were down there for like three days to film that one. But anyway, can Ellen get on? Well, well, Ellen, 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 I don't know if you guys can see in my phone. Ellen, the jokes. For some reason, when I'm on this share screen, you can't see, but I was trying. <laughs> Ellen is our, uh, I don't, you probably all remember this scene where, uh, you know, yeah, Officer Lowe is looking for survivors and then they there pan across the woman with the baby. This is Ellen here. I'm going to highlight on Ellen. Ellen, do you want to introduce yourself? Before you uh, move on, hang on one second. Ellen, <laughs> sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> so I think Marianne had Mary had something she wanted to say quick. One more thing. When I asked about the screening, I never got the answer about. Oh, yes. Go. Thank yeah, you. Ellen, Ellen, and and me and Don. Don, you were at the premiere where they had the the screening. Oh, the the San Diego one? The, no, the one up in LA. Well, the one at the um, Chinese theater. Yes, I went to the premiere. Yeah. No, they had like a private screening on the lot at Paramount. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. Yeah, that's when we first. Yeah, I think that's when we actually the first time we actually met you was there, and uh, yeah, we what went was to that. What was the reaction like in San Diego? Well we finally got to see all the work we had done and we finally got to see where we were and then they kind of altered some stuff if i remember correctly they they changed some things a little bit um that was just kind of like a preliminary yeah yeah on the, on the set yeah i remember that yeah and then of course we had the big premiere in san diego but you got to don you got to go to the real premiere i got to go to the real premiere. yes <laughs> And That's somebody right. out on Hollywood Boulevard was screaming my name when I got out of the limo and walked into the theater. And I was very, very flattered. <laughs> and it was me and yeah. Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we were on the sidelines for that. We drove up and, and we were at the premiere, but we didn't actually get to go in. <laughs> here's, here's that picture of uh, Ellen in the, uh, in the water. Yeah. I was dead, dead, dead. Dead, dead. <laughs> and her creepy baby. <laughs> I talk about, we talk about that, the one creepy baby that she had and we all got in trouble because they were doing bad things to it, like hanging it from the side of the ship. And <laughs> I wasn't, somebody did that. No, you're, you're a bad mother. You let everybody else do things to it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I think the uh, the hanging the baby over the side. I think one of the guys that did that. That's when we all got in trouble. <laughs> we had a lot of of uh, mannequins, dummies that were 
put throughout the on the deck you know because <clears throat> when we started running and falling and stuff we they had to put things that people wouldn't get hurt so they put these dummies all over the place and a lot of the guys would do bad things with the dummies and they put out a memo <laughs> not to do things to the dummies they, what they were doing is they were posing them in suggestive manners yeah <laughs> so all the guys got in trouble for doing that too <laughs> but that's what boredom did <laughs> did to us but it, it was it was amazing it, just to be <clears throat> on that replica and it was it was done so well and you would things that were plastic that were actually metal on the ship like some of the engines and stuff the motors that they used and they, they were all plastic you actually had to go up and touch them because you're like oh that's you know and we tap them and everything it was it was fascinating the uh the wheelhouse and and everything that they had in there it, the the detail and jim kept that uh the ship's wheel didn't he don i think so he's got several things um that he kept from this from the yeah, set he's got he has the safe you know the the 1912 safe and then the one after they brought it up and things like that he's kept some really mm -hmm. good memorabilia from the movie yeah so did you uh richard did you get that picture those pictures that i sent of dawn and and ken and yeah Judy, let me get them for Judy, you here. didn't you show us some wood when on your instagram i thought i saw some wood that's the newel post oh, okay for, that i salvaged and um i actually have it back here but it's got i got it wrapped up so sorry there we are. <laughs> oh, that's, great picture. That, that's from Ghost of the Abyss. And that's the hat that, um, oh gosh, what's her name? I can't think of her name. Oh, Kathy Bates. Ka no, that wasn't Kathy's hat. That was oh. uh, Francis Fisher's hat oh. when they were sitting at the table. And I, okay. You can actually see that. I, I've got a uh, picture of that as well. Yeah, and I'm wearing Victor Garber's suit. Oh, yeah. you are? Yeah. Oh, that's right, because it was from Ghost of the Abyss. And they put a red wig on me, as you can see. Oh, so you got to wear a wig. Oh, wow. I need to put my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, look at Ken. Poor Ken had to be Esme. He and, has to be as me. Oh, yeah. he did. He wanted to be. He wanted to. Yeah. Well, look at the resemblance for both of you guys. It's just incredible yeah. for the people, you know. Just, oh, my goodness. Oh, this must bring back memories and for that, you guys. Oh, you look very that's, cold. That's me and my ice makeup. That was, we looked like that for the first month, I think. <laughs> Bobby wanted to know if you got to keep your costume. No. Oh, I wish I did. There's one yeah. Word that I would oh, have and this is Suzanne, right? Yeah, there's Suzanne. A lot of people thought that was a dummy, but that was a real person who could hold her breath for a long time, apparently. <laughs> so what else did, did, I, oh, what else do we see here? Uh, uh, Melissa said she heard that everyone got food poisoning. Well, we got sick. There was a lot of people that got sick. Ellen didn't get sick. <laughs> uh, the food was awful. Hi, Richard. <laughs> the only complaint I had was when the, uh, the servers tried to Americanize their um, Mexican food because you know normally people go down to Mexico to have really good Mexican food and. <laughs> This, they, they figured that a lot of us were um, from the states that we would want to have more American food, and I think I feel that that was a mistake. I mean, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I did get to um, eat one time with the oh yeah, uh, star. Uh, <clears throat> 
famous people. The grown-ups tent, we called it. <laughs> I mean, that, yeah. was, that was very impressive. I was yes. stand in work, so I had um, a really nice gown, and they didn't realize my hair was the proper color and everything that they wanted to use, so I ended up getting, and they could have used my own hair. I ended up wearing a, a human hair wig that cost $10,000, and uh, it was kind of a little bit uh, oh. That wasn't it. it oh, wow. That's my own hair, but um, the the other yeah, that's my hair too. Yeah, um, but uh, the outfit uh, was really nice, and I got to eat in the uh, uh -huh. yeah the good food area, and it was amazing. The choices yeah. that we had there, uh, wow. Yeah, <laughs> and um, uh, yeah, every once in a while I get to go over, cross over onto the to the uh to the light side <laughs> and and uh the night that we did the shooting scene where where uh, billy zane is chasing after kate and leo down, up and down the staircase um they just had a small group of us there and uh of course we got to, that's when we got to go into the main tent and uh they had shrimp and lobster and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> and that's where I met Billy Zane one night at their, because they had different craft service tents for us too. Um, so we were standing there and, and that's when I started talking to uh, Billy Zane. And he was, he was very nice. And uh, I got my, let's see, this is my, journal oh, oh this is your actual journal that you this is the started. actual journal i don't know oh, let's see oh this is uh oh bill paxton. i started bill paxton bill paxton came on the set one night and we had been up on the uh the stern the stern was actually a separate set uh, but and then they raised it and they put it on the back of the ship and it was on the scaffolding thing that was, it really creeped me out <laughs> because it was so high up. The ship was at, at, it, at its uh, seven degree list. So the front was here and we're up here. And so we're, we're sitting up there and, and Bill Paxton came on the set and he goes, and we're all up there and we're in our third class outfits, right? And he goes, you guys look great. <laughs> And we're like, yeah. <laughs> and he goes, he goes, how do you all like uh, being on a on a, a a set where you know portraying the past and stuff? He says, uh, and then he started saying how cool it was to do uh, Apollo thirteen and uh, uh, Tombstone, um, and so we had a nice little visit with him. Got a picture with him too. So. He was, he was really nice, but he was like enthusiastic. He goes, you guys all look great. <laughs> and we were in our, you know, we're like third class trash. <laughs> that's what wow. we <laughs> Oh, what a nice memory. Oh. Yeah. Um, Ray's ready? raising her hand. Oh, Richard, were you saying something? Yeah, you ready for some more pictures? Just let me know. Yeah, sure. And I want to welcome my friend Joseph Ricker. I think he's met several of you. Hey, too. Joseph. He just, he just got Hello, here. Can, can you hear me? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hey, that... Joseph. Oh, Richard, you need to put those up there for a little longer if people get a chance to look at them. <laughs> can Thank anyone you. hear me? Yes. Yeah, that's that's me, right? Right there. Uh, uh... You look so happy. <laughs> that was a miserable set. <laughs> why? 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 Oh, you got him. Are you so right? stinking hot. Yeah. No, <laughs> welcome if you got him. Yeah, they had real cigarettes. Oh. Yeah. 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 There we are. Oh. Ellen. Ellen is right behind. Uh, right in front of me. There she should be. Mm-hmm. You can see my head kind of blurry, but that's okay. We tried to play this Where's Ellen and Judy game, but <laughs> we every time we pause, we missed the moment. Oh, picture. maybe you could tell us about this picture. Yeah, that was our uh, 
fifth year reunion at Jim Cameron's uh, Malibu compound. Um, that and, was for ghosts. Yeah. yeah, that was for ghosts. And um, we haven't done anything for Titanic. <laughs> no, we did. We did a 10 year at my house, remember? Well, yeah, but I mean, not for not Jim didn't throw us a big party. <laughs> no, that would have been too many people. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, there we all are. And I was playing um, Lady Duck Gordon in that one. So that's yeah, why and that that's my daughter-in-law there on this on the end with the uh, the third class outfit there. All the way on the end to the on the right. Yes, that's Francine. Oh, wow, she's beautiful. She's got, uh, she's got some shots. Here, let me see. get back over. Let's see. We can always give you screen share too, Judy. Uh, yeah, that one with me in the ice, that was where Jim Cameron put had put blood on me. Uh, we were doing the scene in the water where we were sinking and they were there if you remember in the movie you see men fighting over a barrel and um he wanted more blood on him and i was like really? right up i was like right up front next to jim and kate was right next to me or her stand-in who i'd ever needed to be in that day so jim would walk was like right there you know two feet away from me and he would walk he walked between us and he he says get he asked for somebody somebody to give him some blood so he gave him a i don't know what it was it was like paste so he goes back <laughs> and he puts the blood on the guys because they were fighting over that barrel and they're the big stuntmen you know they're like seven feet tall to me <laughs> so jim goes back and he puts his does his thing with the blood and he walks uh back and to to the camera and i went and i said it something to somebody i said oh darn i didn't get any blood and jim heard me he goes he goes what'd you say i said oh i just i just wanted to get some blood and he goes come here and he <laughs> takes out the this, this paste and he puts it all over the side of my face and that's what i was showing there in that one picture and that's where they started calling me his bloody dead chick oh gosh <laughs> yeah <laughs> I was his bloody dead chick from then on. <laughs> so, but anyway, back to my, my journal, I, I would go home at night. Oh my gosh. That, and I started, you know, just writing everything down. Now this was in a, this was just a spiral paper. And when I came back, my son laminated everything for me. So I've got, let's see, I've got a lot of stunt people. I got Father Biles there, the one that uh, says at the end there, uh, oh, he was hilarious. We'd grab hold of him and, and then at the end of this, uh, the takes, he'd, he'd start cussing at us, get the hell away from me and blah, you know. And uh, let's see. I wanted to find Go ahead and talk, talk, folks. Oh, so the next person's Kurt. Kurt, go ahead, Kurt. You can, I'm looking for to, something. Should be able to unmute yourself. Yeah, I, I got it. Can you okay. hear me? Uh huh. Oh, um, yeah, Judy, you said you were on set for seven months. Yeah, just just shy. When when you signed up, were you expecting to be there for seven months or? Uh, no, I was originally only going to be there three days. And okay, then, that's, that's what you said. Yeah, and. Uh, when they said, well, we aren't going to use you in the, the size three outfit. And obviously I wasn't five foot four. Um, uh, they said, we're going to make you third class. And I said, is that a good thing? And, <laughs> and it turned out to be a great thing. Yeah. Okay, well, that's cool. It must have been a real surprise to, to be told, oh, it's going to be three days. And then all of a sudden it turns into seven months. Yeah. And uh, it, besides getting to, to do everything I got to do, and we were up on the on the stern when they they had to secure us to the rails 
when they turned it up 90 degrees and then it would get stuck up there. Fortunately, I don't think Ellen and I were on, on the set when it got stuck. And, uh, um, but John Landau's son and father got stuck up there <laughs> for like an hour. <laughs> then, uh, the poop deck scenes that we were Yeah, doing? yeah. When, it, when they tipped it up to 90 degrees and they couldn't get it down. Mm -hmm. And that's when they had all of the uh, uh, stunt people doing it, basically. Yeah, because they were falling and yeah. doing stuff. So anyway, I got uh, I got Russell Carpenter. Let's see. Down there, I don't know if you can see it. Russell Carpenter oh. signed. He was lighting. Um, and then Jim down here, he says, the best bloody dead chick. Oh my God. <laughs> and uh this was his this was josh mcclaglin's signature he was the assistant director who was also the son of victor mcclaglin who starred in a lot of john wayne movies Oh wow! So you know, my bone bone to pick with you in your book is there's no pictures or anything. I'm like a <laughs> no, well, I didn't want to push the issue. <laughs> we didn't want to push the issue because oh. <laughs> a lot of the photos, uh, you know, and Don Don knows this too. We we didn't share. Oh, <clears throat> they were kind of uh, not you know copyrighted. Yeah, and we did. We we were guarded on what we put out there. We tried to just put out things that were uh, pictures of the people. Um, yeah, so this you don't published see that in two thousand twelve. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, when he did, when, we appreciate uh, all the pictures you're sharing in here. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. When, um, Jim Cameron put out the uh, uh, what is it? Director's cut, the three disc set. That yeah. was when I was able to scan in about 250 or something like that uh, photos that uh, we took on the set, and it more or less um, legitimized um, our mm -hmm. impressions. Um, but we never we never did anything with them until after uh, well, until that yeah. time, never before. Otherwise, we could have gotten into big trouble. Right. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's I totally understand. That makes perfect sense. <laughs> So I know uh, Don and Ken, when we got together, remember Don, a number of years ago, we got together with you at, uh, <clears throat> at the house and, and we compared all of our photos. That was the, we got together and we're sitting around and it's like, everybody was quiet. It's like, how do you make a bunch of Titanic people be quiet? Show them a bunch of t new Titanic pictures. <laughs> <laughs> We thought that was pretty funny. <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> so um, yeah, there there was a lot. There's a lot of things that you know that are are will probably never be shared publicly. <laughs> yeah, I can understand. I would just I I love when someone puts up a picture of the set. Like, yeah, oh, I wish I could. That I wish they turned that into a museum. That would have been just. Well, they had the museum down there for a little while, you know, and we went down there a few times, took some people down, and then all of a sudden it just, you know, that, like Don said, they probably, they sold it and they had a warehouse just full of props. I don't know whatever happened to all of that stuff. I think it was all brought up to LA somewhere. It's all scattered around in different warehouses in mm. Los Angeles. Mm. Wow. Oh, I think wow. Parks kind of did some of the the uh, cate yeah, categorizing he, he of that. Them. He went around and inventoried a lot of that stuff for Jim. Wow. Yeah. I remember when I got that three disc set for Christmas, I bought it for myself. And <laughs> No one talked to me for a couple hours. I'm going to watch the movie with Ken and Don. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but uh, Richard told me that you guys did the commentary. So I actually misplaced the movie years ago. So I just ordered a new one. And oh. <laughs> I can watch with your commentary. Yeah. Was it you and Ellen? And Ellen, do, Ellen does one about makeup. And I do one regarding the uh, 
lifeboat scene where it's coming back into the field of people that are dead. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Well, I narrated when, uh, oh, Van Lee was uh, getting makeup put on as an example. Yeah. And uh, then I also did um, a little bit about uh, how cold the water was. Mm. Oh, I look forward to it. I can't wait because it, it's really fun to actually watch the movie and have the commentary. And I don't know if people have that addition, but it's a really great addition to get that. And then James Cameron actually does a commentary <gasps> as well. That's, that's yeah. the one who has all of the photos. Yeah. So yes, and that actually Richard and I the other day he did a screen share and we watched the. Uh, we watched the the photos because what was there like 280 photos from the movie that I didn't even notice yeah, back then because I was too busy watching the movie with Ken and Don every time. Yeah, well, a lot of those like, photos wait, other came. Features? <laughs> yeah, a lot of those photos came from from Ken and Don too. So we kind of shared in that and contributing to that. So we're we're quite quite pleased with being able to add to the history and. Uh, uh, I, I say in my in the book that uh, I never dreamed that I would become part of Titanic's history mm. and uh, it was just I, I can't even it's it's hard to put into words how you felt when you were on that ship and mm. you know uh, a lot of people came down and they're like well they thought it <clears throat> excuse me hold on a sec A lot of people came down and thinking that Titanic got sunk by a torpedo and we're like, uh, no, wrong ship. And we had women and you're talking about hundreds of people, especially when they did the, the, the uh, dock scene where we're all the loading scene where the ship's sitting there by the dock and all the people are all over the place. You're, what we have like 2,500 people on that set. And it was it was crazy and people did crazy stupid stuff um i think you might have read where the people wouldn't stay away from the horses well somebody got ended up getting stepped on because they wouldn't stay away from the horse you know and it's like hello you got great big draft horses and in a confined spot for long periods of time and the horses would want to move you know, and they kept, you know, they move. <laughs> and so somebody got stepped on. Um, then we had, when we were running up the deck, where we were all running toward the back of the ship, that was crazy. That was bad. Uh, you had people that, that had no idea. Uh, they went in and brought, bust people in from town and just said, hey, come and be on the, come and be in the movie. And uh, things happened. One of the girls got held down and, and she was molested. Um, oh, no. They, I don't know if they ever found anybody that did it, but um, they just got her down and were just grabbing her, you know? And that was bad. And they had to stop the, the filming and... Uh, some people were told, over enthusiastic and I was trampled on a couple. Yeah, times. me too. Yeah, me was... too. And <clears throat> Jim start, Jim got mad one night and he goes, I don't ever want to see what I, I got pushed down right in front of him and I hit the deck pretty hard. And he, he says, I don't ever want to <clears throat> see one of my women hit the deck like that again. <laughs> and, and, uh, yeah. There were some, and there were some guys that just would climb over you. They'd push Wait, you down. Doesn't Alan have a story? Didn't oh Alan yeah. Have a story about for us about what happened in the water. <laughs> um, I'm not sure which which of the stories you're talking about right now. Oh, um, oh yes, I do. Yeah, when you were <laughs> dead. My my dead uh, frozen Irish scene. We had a good friend of ours, George, who um, uh, was um, that was George, right? Um, I think so. I have to step away just for a second. Anyway, okay. he, he was um, one of one of the stokers. He was a big guy, really nice and a lot of fun. And uh, when I was doing my floating dead holding the baby scene, um, they nobody else was on on the set at the time or in the water at the time. And um, uh, <laughs> George would uh, 
would try to drip water on me and, um, and to make me move, but I was pretty darn good. I played dead well. Um, <laughs> and uh, unfortunately, his oar did whack the baby um, a couple of times, but fortunately it wasn't real. So it, it felt no pain, but it was, it was an interesting, kind of, oh, Bruce, his name was Bruce Ragland. He was a wonderful man. Didn't you have a, a one where you were pushed under the water? I have one certain time? someone. Oh, certain... that one. That's <laughs> how I got my, um... all right. So I know, I knew when we were first there, we were divided into groups. This is the very first shots we ever did were the indoor tank scenes. And it was a huge indoor tank um, that was heated, but it was heated to maybe 85 degrees. And we were there in the water for um, close to 11 hours. And uh, though we had wetsuits and layers of clothing because Jim was very, very adamant about being dressed properly, even though most of us were actually under the water at the time. The tank is only about three feet deep. Underneath there, there was a bunch of pipes with holes in it that would simulate the sinking of the ship. There was a lot of pieces of the ship that were floating around. And up at the far corner um, of this tank, there was, uh, it was a, uh, the area where all of the uh, crew was with the cameras. There was also a water machine, a wave machine going on. I came in, uh, we were divided into groups, uh, three groups. One, people oh. who were very active and had just fallen in. So they were screaming and splashing and trying to find their loved ones. The second group were people who were, um, beginning to feel the effects of hypothermia. So they were not quite as active. And there was one group of six people who were dead. Okay, I happened to be one of those lucky people. Now there were a bunch of mannequins floating around to supplement the dead people. But um, uh, knowing that I um, was going to be just basically floating on my back most of the time, I, the first thing I did was go in and find the hot water inlet. And that's where I hung out. Um, which was a little ways away from the main action or where the cameras were. But there was one scene when I was doing my job, floating on my back, being dead. Um, <laughs> my job. These people came by and I, I had my eyes closed. So I wasn't looking to see who it was. And, and they just um, pushed me under. And, you know, as soon as the air horn came off at the end of the uh, scene, I stood up to look around to see who what jerk swam over me and uh, I discovered that it was um, Leonardo and he looked at me and he said oh I'm sorry I didn't know you were real and I told him that's okay um, um, I've been told I played dead well and uh, it was that night when I went home among the um, among the calls to come back I got one call saying that everybody thought that my acting was so good that they wanted to use me as um, a featured extra in the scene. And I was thinking, well, acting, all I did was float on my back with my eyes closed. And apparently <laughs> it was the shot. And so that's how I got the um, role of the frozen Irish mommy. Because <laughs> you played your part so well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Lata wants to ask you a question. And then I'm gonna ask one for Sonia. And then we've got Mary and- Okay. Sonia. Um, the um, movie set, was it near a public area? So uh, like if uh, people walk by, did they see like a sinking ship with screaming people on it? And mm. like, oh. No, they, they actually had a great big wall around the set and it was right off of the freeway down. So, and then there was a main road that went, went through, you know, just, just a two lane road. Um, they could see the ship from the road and uh, but they couldn't access it. It was a secured area. They actually, what they did, they broke bottles and cemented the broken bottles all around the the perimeter of, of the fence on the top of the fence. It was. <laughs> we thought, well, nobody's going to be climbing over that one. And we actually had armed guards walking around with guns. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So. And that was back in 96 and 97. And um, not too long before that, there had been um, like, a, like some director that, or somebody down there that had been kidnapped. So Jim didn't go off of the set without having bodyguards and things like that. So uh, yeah, but we had, 
we had armed guards walking around the the perimeter of the of the set okay okay thank you uh-huh right well thank you uh, this message is for um from sonia in india she said some people said that sir james cameron used to lose his temper frequently during shooting of titanic how was your experience with um, well we james saw it, i wouldn't say it was frequent uh, whenever he lost his temper there was always good reason for it um so a lot of things you know people would say oh jim's this and jim's that he's a tyrant blah 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 but nobody stopped to to realize the the whole uh the grandeur of what he was working with and <clears throat> right. one yeah. thing that didn't get out was if he got mad at you um he would always apologize to you or and tell everybody what a good job they'd done at the end of the day um it all depended on what it was what happened he he got mad at me a couple times <laughs> you know he it, but you know it it's because of the uh, it was because of things that uh, the way the set was or the way the camera was positioned, it just didn't look right. Like when we were down in the third class area where we were doing the dance and everything, <clears throat> he uh, had me go over to a couple of men that were playing chess or checkers. And he says, and, and I'll, I'll do this for you right now. <laughs> It's kind of funny. He goes, I want you to stand there and, you know, people talk with their hands. So I'm, I'm like this behind them talking. And he goes, don't do that. And he goes, you look like you're, con you're conducting an orchestra. <laughs> <laughs> so I wouldn't say that he, he, he got mad. He didn't get mad. He just said, stop doing that. It looks like you're constructing an orchestra, you know? Um, well, you know how rumors are someone could tell a story and then it becomes yeah. you know, a whole now, game or... and and just like when he got mad at everybody for running all over everybody during the thing that needed to get mad at you know he needed to get mad at people for doing that yeah. and uh there are instances of of people coming on the set that we didn't know uh we had one one time we had a had a guy come in and uh, he uh, was trying to solicit little boys and he did not, he was gone. <laughs> we don't know what happened to him. We didn't really care. It's just that it got him off the set. So you, it, like I said, you had people that would come on and be part of that massive group that just, you didn't know what you were getting. Yeah. And, um, I know we had had one friend, remember Dina, Ellen? Yeah, she never told us what happened, but whatever it was, it wasn't good. And, you know, it, you just heard all kinds of stuff, you know, yeah. everything. And then, and then one time Jim got upset. <laughs> I guess the microphone was dead because he had a, had a cordless. And he took the he took the microphone, and we were all in the water, and the microphone ended up near me. Oh. <laughs> he, he goes, "Somebody get me a, a damn microphone that works!" And he threw it. And <laughs> I'm sure it's a high stress of, job. That's a lot of the pool. <laughs> it ended up in the bottom of the pool somewhere. <laughs> well, uh, what I heard is it basically. Um, Jim was really focused on getting the scenes that he wanted. So he exactly. could be a little harsh in his, in his criticism of the extras or the actors even themselves. But at the end, at the end of the scenes, when he finally got the scenes, he was always very appreciative. Yeah. And um, I, uh, you'd see that quite often. Mm -hmm. But I can understand that it's because his vision needed to be accomplished and that's why we were really down there. But he was mm -hmm. always, always very nice and generous after the scene was taken and finished. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we that, all have our moments, That's one thing you know? that you, that was one of the things that you never, you never heard from people, you know, and, and uh, I'm sure it's not, not unfamiliar to anybody that's been in the movie business that have, have a director that screams and yells about things, you know, you've got to have things done, you got to have them done. And 
Jim was accountable for a lot of things down there, uh, the the sets, the the timing, the filming, the and you know that and everybody was like, oh, they've never made a movie. It costs so much. It's going to, you know, of course they had that going on that that uh, people didn't think the movie was going to be any good. That it was going to be at a flop. But we yes. all knew it was going to be great. <laughs> All these opinionated people. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, like what I was saying. Is his own money to like do this? Mm -hmm. I think so. And um, um, like I said, there was a lot of women that would come down there and they refused to wear the fur. Oh, you killed an animal. You did oh. this, you did that. And it's like, well, those animals lived long before you because these were vintage clothing and they wouldn't wear them. It's just fine. You know, there's other people who will take your place, you know. Yeah, because that's what they wore then. I mean, you have you yeah. know, you're to look authentic and everything to. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like I thought it was so authentic. I thought, wow, I mean, he put as much effort into it as the real Titanic because it really just looked it was so stunningly and visually yeah. just so beautiful to look and I just can imagine all the workers and everyone who put the real Titanic together and made it look so beautiful and put all that handicraft and then to see that loss must have just been devastating so I'm sure yeah we got to have a feel for how you know what they went through and um wow oh Mary wanted to ask another question and then Terry Thank you so much, you guys. This is really great to get behind. And then um, Joseph next. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Joseph. Mine's actually a five-parter. <laughs> As I'm listening to all this, I have questions about things. Did you go through etiquette training? No. As far as period Ooh. thing, you did not. Okay. We were did you have period class. food? I'm sorry, Ellen, go ahead. We were third class, so we didn't okay. have. They did oh, have so the first class probably did, right? Correct, yes. They had to, yeah, they, they actually had some of the dancers where you, where some of the people went through the dance, you know, we got to just kind of play for that. Oh, that's, okay. see, I think you had more fun if you were, when, when I read in your book, they, they switched you from first to third. I said, I bet she had more fun, you know, <laughs> you know, I want to go to a real party, be with fun yeah. people. <laughs> You can relax, let your hair down. Because yeah, like you I know, said, remember when Rose was looking around, you know, the girl, yeah, you know, putting that, the, the napkin on her lap, you know, they just had to be yeah. so proper. And okay, so did you have any period food like on the set when you were filming? No. Not to eat. Okay. They had it for decoration. I don't know. They, they, well, they put the caviar out and then they made, there was, there were things that, that they made for the buffets that were in the back of the room. They had these orange things. And that was one of the things I said before, they actually left that out and they let them rot. <laughs> sat right there. <laughs> I actually found a recipe for those vodka soaked oranges they used in first class in the movie. And I ah. lost it. Uh -oh. I lost it. Did they give you a tour of the set? We gave ourselves a tour. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we had access to pretty much everything. How about deleted scenes of either of you that you wished had made it into the final cut? Oh, yeah. There was uh, the scene where we're sinking and we're, we're praying with the priest. And they actually had a part where they... Uh, had a slide down they let it we let go of the priest and they slide down and then he goes okay we want this to look like the ship when it breaks and it goes back down into the water and then we kind of all celebrate that the ship is is leveled itself and that we were all saved uh that would that was cut uh, they also had cuts they cut out the parts where they actually showed me instead of just the back of my head attack you know holding on to father biles um okay. that i regret <laughs> and there was probably just things that i just can't recall but i know there was just there was 24 hours or so of editable film wow. that's what ed marsh told me so, last question is the band how was the band the band were real 
I know yeah, the Gaelic yeah. storm, but I was just oh, wondering Gaelic what storm. it was like to. Oh yeah, uh, they they were fun. Ellen and I went to some of their shows after the fact, and uh, got to visit with them a little bit. You know, not, but they were they were really nice people. Yeah, we had a good time. Um, after one night, they started uh, playing a Queen song, "We Will Rock You." Wow. So <laughs> we, we love been Queen. In the, yeah, we were there. We were there. We were so tired, and then they started, dun dun dun, dun dun dun, and then we started, yeah. And then we go. It was so stinking hot in there, and we were all so tired, and that was fun. <laughs> wow, that's so great. Thank you so much. Uh huh. All right, next is uh, Terry, and then Joseph. Is Terry still here? Terry. I think she can't unmute. Let's see over here. She's waving. She? Okay. Oh, there you oh, go. There she is. Okay, sorry. Um, I want to know, uh, first of all, where I got now, where did you guys after I have two questions. One is it's my understanding you did use some CGI. And um I wanted to know how and that on and the second and on, and as far as that's concerned. Was CGI the people and how much? I, I the the CGI that they used would have been with the iceberg, and also in where the little girl's folding her napkin and they're inside the the um, the room where or, or that the uh, what was that? What would you call that? where they were having the tea and the little girls folding her napkin. Those were CGI. And Don would know more about that um, particular room because you guys were on that set, weren't you, Don? Is Don gone? We have left. Did he? I think so. Oh, okay. Well, I also that was- As far as the sinking also, is look, there looked like like when people yes. were falling off and when the ship was going down. Yes, some... the CGI. The CGI was when the ship was tipped up, and mm -hmm. you show the people falling. There's some CGI scenes of them like hitting the, the and propellers. Remember when we were on on the um, uh, the poop deck? We were doing our filming, and they threw uh, rolls of toilet paper down to yes um, <laughs> to track them. Would, they would put CGI characters in in place of the toilet paper. Yeah. <laughs> So now, now I have them. another question about that. You know the part now, the part where, where the ship is tilted, you can see people knocking into each other. Mm -hmm. Are those real? Are those real stunt men doing that, or is that? There, they were real stunt men, and then the the whole bottom when the ship is is the stern is tipped completely up ninety degrees, and you see the people falling. Yeah. They had they had safety safety straps on them that would regulate the way they would fall and oh. then along the whole bottom there was stacked a lot of those dummies that we were talking about earlier um they would hit that and uh so there was a lot of cgi in that particular uh scene where that shows the back of the, the ship when we were in the lifeboats and you see the 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 propellers coming up out yeah. of the water that was cgi we had we had three x's up on the on the uh green screen and they go okay look at those x's so you had a point of a vision on that okay and that once you remember the scene when there the ship is going straight up and you see the two lovers there and then there's a, a blonde girl and you can see her holding on to for dear life mm -hmm. now is she real stunt you know, uh she yeah she's real stunt uh i okay. can't remember her name not, not the one that did helga no uh, it was it was the one she's a real actress and she yeah and she, she just fell there, she fell like two feet right there oh two feet okay yeah two or three yeah. feet yeah and That's into a nice crazy. pile of soft she stuff it was the girlfriend only those scenes yeah. out, unfortunately yeah and my yeah. other question involves after you got like after each day of shooting where did you guys go to go sleep or whatever? <laughs> I mean, well, you, guys, you know what I'm saying? 
I had my husband work for a guy that had a house that was like two miles south of the set. So I went down there. Ellen would come down every once in a while. And then every once in a while, Ellen would be in the hotel or they'd put us in the hotel. And sometimes I'd stay with her. Or they gave us our own rooms. It just all depended on what, what the well, situation uh, was yeah, for the next was, day. When I was supplemental with, along with you, that's when I didn't have a place. But then uh, after uh, uh, Leo swam over me, they gave me a core position. And at that point in time, they gave me a hotel room at uh, um, the Festival Plaza Hotel for the duration yeah. of my stay. Yeah, um, and I didn't, I didn't need it. So I, was, I stayed down right. at the house. And if they needed the house, then I stayed at the hotel. Okay. <laughs> Well, I mean, I meant in a general sense with all the people and all the extras yeah. and stuff like that. Well, the the whole the 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 whole core people that were there, uh, they'd either have how they they hotel they put him in the hotel. Uh, right. But but what were there like 150, 160 of us, yeah. Ellen? Well, that for, were there all the time. Yeah, uh, at least 250 were the. the oh, 250. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Hold on just a second. And that's just the extras oh. because there were also the stars, of course, and um, oh. um, and uh, the crew, and they were all housed in different uh, hotels okay. down there for condos. The next person to ask a question is uh, Joseph. Hello. Uh, glad you could make it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm at work. I got an eight-ton bomb behind my head, and I've been really uh, interested in everything that has been discussed here, and I've, I've learned a lot that uh, I haven't known before, Judy, and it's nice to see you, Ellen, as well. Jill, thank you for hosting this. Um, nice I'm sorry. I, uh, I don't know if it's too loud with the truck I'm in here running, but um, anyway, uh, I did have a question for Don, but unfortunately, it looks like he's left already. Yeah, I might be able to text him, see if he'll... The only question I had, was, uh, I mean, um, I wonder what happened to the 45 foot model that Tom Nikolai Vargas spent a lot of time working on. I believe that was featured in the 100th anniversary special when James Cameron hosted with, uh, you know, Parks and Ken and Don. Uh, it was a big long model that was in a warehouse. I was wondering if that is still out there in storage. I. I have no idea. All of those sets either took place, you know, they took place up in LA where they had the 65 foot model that they broke. Um, and um, I don't know where the 45 foot went. I know that they had one that went on tour right afterwards. Ellen, you remember that? Remember when we were up in San Jose? They had that one. Um, and then uh, all of the uh, the ones of the wreck, you know, that's on the bottom, that's that they show on the bottom. Uh, I think Jim has those. They they were at the uh, Reagan Library mm -hmm. oh. when we were there. Oh, did you guys get to go to that? Yes, that was wonderful. Yeah. I yes. missed it. I missed that. You West Coasters, <laughs> we need more things going on here in the East. <laughs> we'll have to get together soon back when the Queen Mary opens up. And Jill, it'd be great if you could make it out. Yeah, yeah that'd be fun. Meet with you guys. Yeah, I'm so planning a big shift can... out there. I'd like to have everybody uh, come on out. Once things kind of open up with the COVID situation, that'd be nice to mm -hmm. it would get be. back to normalcy. And that's definitely put a damper on everybody's, you know, meeting and be able to see each other, our families, and friends. I, mean, I was fortunate enough to, to drop into San Diego a few months ago. It was great to see you. Even though it, was for, it was a stressful yeah. day for me, and it was one of those weird days. Uh, <laughs> Judy, but it was great to see you and, and have that talk. You. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that was a bad. That was a bad day. It's crazy. But uh, yeah, trying to haul that big trailer around and getting into an accident that day too. Yeah. It was just uh, everything went, <laughs> but you made the highlight of my day. It was just just get to San Diego and see my friends I haven't seen for I've been a little over a year at that point, so <laughs> year and a half. Now, Joseph, uh, how did you how did you come to meet Alan and um, Judy? How did you guys all meet? 
Well, when I went out to 2009, they had the 45th anniversary of the Titanic Historical Society out there at the Queen Mary. And uh, my, That's plan, right. my, my plan was to meet Ken. That, that was my, my focus, the main focus, because I wanted him to be involved as a uh, type, some type of consultant or board member to the idea that I had to build Titan, this you know, massive undertaking that I'm working on. Uh, and I was able to do that. And that's when I first remember seeing Ellen because Ellen was talking with Ken for a while and I was kind of waiting. I didn't want to interrupt or be rude or anything. And I, but I was like, oh my God, there's there's Ken Marshall, you know? And, and so, yeah, that's pretty much how it happened. And we had the gala dinner and, and I, I met Judy and, and got to know Ellen mm-hmm. over the, the course of those days. And uh, they were very gracious to me and uh, wanting to you know, know, know who I was and what my plans were. And when I went out there, I, I'll never forget this when I, when I stepped on board that ship and that was the first time in nine years that I had been out there, I didn't know a single person. And when I left, I knew about 40 or 50 people. Oh, that I wow. Four day period. I, I came home and I got in that plane to head back to Minnesota. I, I just felt like I took a huge step forward and it was, it was sad in a way too, because I, you know, had met all these wonderful people from Judy and Ellen to Ken and Don, uh, Ed Commuter was there. Uh, Karen Commuter, oh. uh, like Michael Condon, uh, and other people that were so involved with the, not only Titanic Historical Society, but uh, also the movie itself. And it, I just, it was really kind of a sad for me to leave that, but also I felt uh, like I'd really accomplished something to go out there and, you know, meet these people, which I had no idea it was going to be that, you know, I thought I'd make me Ken and enjoy the activities and learn about the society and and it it turned Mm -hmm. out to be a lot more than that and i really appreciate the friendships that came from that yeah and so many years later i know it's so neat how titanic i feel like titanic sort of calls people to remember her and then we form all Mm -hmm. these connections and we all meet each other in so many different ways and that's one of the things a lot of people i notice on social media give the movie a hard time all the movie especially people who've been studying titanic for years but i think what they don't realize is it it brought more people to the story to get to know the story and it was kind of their entry entry point into learning about this tragedy that you know I've heard so many times, like, what? That was a real tragedy? You know, people Mm -hmm. actually really died on it? So I thought, you know, James Cameron really brought this to life and and all of you, you know, I don't know. And everyone here has been touched in some way. And um, Mm -hmm. I don't know, I feel, you know, grateful because that's how I got into Titanic myself. I heard the movie was coming out and I was the kind of person that wouldn't go see a movie if it was based on a book or historical. Um, I would read about it first so that when I went to see it, I could kind of analyze. And when I started studying, I just couldn't get enough information. You know, there's still so much to learn after 20 odd years of yeah. Uh, how much time do you guys have? Did you want to wrap it up or do you still want to continue? Unfortunately, taking- I have to take off, but um, yeah, I oh, thought yeah, I'd check in. I, have to go to work. I feel really grateful you gave us so much time. I'm sorry that it took so long for me to get on this one. I mean, this is the worst time I've ever had connecting up. <laughs> well, we did change something with our Zoom. We noticed that we needed to add a security feature of people actually having signed into their yeah, Zoom yeah. account because we we kind of got photo bombed by someone in one of our meetings and it was oh really a little upsetting and actually someone came into this meeting that we had to vote out even with that but that person is going to be recorded <laughs> um, <laughs> we try to make these safe later i have to take off oh, thank you so much go. i can coming. answer some more questions uh, okay richard just- i i put in a couple more photos there for you to put up and Alan sent some more too. I sent her over to him. Did Alan yeah, leave? I'm, I'm working. I'm working on getting them ready. So ah, okay. To, to prep them, but I'm working on that now. Does anyone so, else uh, have I'll a question? Judy, see. I'm ready to go. Okay. Yay. You guys have been great. <laughs> I think the, uh, the one of the most uh, fascinating things to me has been. Um, and the most enjoyable, of course, has been uh, meeting Don and Ken and staying, yeah. you know, ha- establishing these friendships uh, and, and parks over all these years. And um, 
I just, I, I'm, I'm really grateful for this uh, thing that's happened in my life. Uh, it's been very enjoyable. And, um, you know, I, I've, when this first, when it first came out, uh, I did a lot of public speaking at, at some schools and then they had us on a uh a two week or a three week i forget how long it went they had the last dinner of titanic at the bungalow in san diego which is Ooh. no longer there and so i got to eat first class dinners for two or three weeks <laughs> there doing that dinner every night <laughs> it was wow. incredible and people would come i mean dressed up oh. you know tuxedos and gowns and you know they came they came full on and then i uh the owner of that restaurant would ha ha i had my hair done i got a dress i got i call it my offensive fur because it's a it was a real fur <laughs> and i had and i would wear that you know around my shoulders and um it was just uh it really it's been an amazing thing Wow. That was just, yeah, the closest I've been, I went to the 2012 Titanic Historical Society Convention and we all mm -hmm. dressed up and they had set it up where we got to eat a first class dinner. And yeah, that's really, and I guess they do something at Mackinac Island. They do yes. a big event where people get all dressed up. Yeah. And I think Parks used to go and do a talk there. To, um, uh, I don't know if Don's gone before. I'm sure he has. Uh, Joseph, have you ever gone to out to the Mackinac Island thing? No, he's up muted. Oops, let me give him the. Let me... Can anyone hear me? Yes. I want to ask you a question. What was okay. the film like? What What was that again? What What was the uh, the movie set was like on the on the Titanic? Oh, the, the uh, ship itself, it was 775 feet long. It was 11 stories tall. The uh, first, uh, to, uh, the upper, two upper decks were complete. Uh, the promenade deck went all the way around um, the, uh, the ship itself. Um, the only completed room was the wheelhouse where they had, um, they did a lot of the filming in there where um uh the main wheel is and all of the controls all of that was done right there on the ship itself but all of the other uh interior rooms the corridors that sank uh those were all done in separate um sets wow. uh, i was gonna ask you um what about the food on the titanic did you did you eat food on the ship while you're acting out? Well, the they character? had catering services for us. And uh, that, that was not a very good. <laughs> she it said it wasn't so, first class wasn't so, <laughs> It wasn't so good for the, for the extras. <laughs> we didn't have any first class food, I tell you that. <laughs> well, well, my name is Bradley. I'm from Sydney, Australia. So I'm all the way from... 12,000 miles away from Australia to America. Uh-huh. Have you ever Bradley, been to Australia? Bradley, you might Australia? want to change. No, Fix your not. camera, because we can only see your arm, Bradley. Oh, here you are. How are you? Oh, look, he's even got his Titanic book club there shirt you go. on. I've got my new, I've got my new Titanic <laughs> t-shirt. Oh, he's represented. Oh, there you uh, go. <laughs> you guys, Richard designed those shirts. Aren't they great? Oh, they're nice. <laughs> Those are nice. I bought I bought my new T-shirt uh, the day when I spoke to you after I got off the air, and then I ordered it, and there it is. I only got it on Thursday. This Thursday it just went. Oh, I did it. That's <laughs> awesome. And our little Benedict, he's eleven. He's a member of the group, and he said it's going to be so expensive, Jill. He kept messaging me, you know, to order from Teespring. So Richard and I are oh, like, uh -huh. what if there's an alternative? He figured out a print shop or someone that was able to print them right for him there. So he opened a little Titanic book store <laughs> shop in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> 
I just want yeah, to I, I like to ask one question if I may. Um, did you and then get Joseph any, will be next. Did you get yeah. any souvenir of the ship? Of the yes. Set? Yes. I have a, a big newel post that I took that I salvaged and I actually restored it. And um, I have a wicker chair that was uh, in the palm court on the palm court that was called it a floater. And I have bits and pieces of uh, the, oh, I've got, I've got like a ticket. I've got, you know, it's just all kinds of different little things. And, but the biggest thing I have is the new post and the, the wicker chair. Wow. That, I know. And you had pictures up on your Instagram. Yeah. And, and what was the people like on the set? Were they nice to you? Oh yeah, it, 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 and the the core group people were were great. Uh, there was there was a couple that were kind of like cynical, but <laughs> you have you have that in large groups. Um, the massive groups that they used for the um, Southampton dock scene, departure scene, and the the large group that they used to run up the deck during the sinking at the end, uh, they were not that great. Uh, all the core people knew who everybody was, but we were inundated with a lot of people that were really jerks. <laughs> um, what, the, what, was the, James, uh, what was James Cameron like? James Cameron person? was awesome. I, I, would, I would work for him at a drop of a hat. I've I enjoyed every every time that we had any interaction. Interesting. Yeah, he he was he's an amazing person. Thank you, Bradley, and I think Joseph wanted to ask another question. I was just going to answer Judy's question. Uh, no, I haven't been up to Mackinac Island. Ah, you've been everywhere else. <laughs> <laughs> He's muted again. <laughs> Oops. Did he maybe he muted? Did you mute yeah. yourself? Yeah, here I am. <laughs> I said you've been everywhere else. <laughs> I have. I'm very fortunate, um, especially this year with COVID running rampant. I've been all over the country, but uh, yeah. I have not been up there yet. And that's one thing I would like to do is get up there for their Titanic weekend at the Grand Hotel one of these days. Yeah, that would be oh, me that too. Would be fun. Wouldn't that be me fun? Too. Now that yeah. would be easy for me to get to Michigan, although you know. I think Mackinac, <laughs> and I have to go through Canada to get there, but it'd be easier to get there than California. <laughs> it's just an airplane ride. That's true. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I love San Diego, San Diego, and I love the Maritime Museum there. Yeah, you like, need to oh, let us know when you when you come into town again. Buffalo to Chicago to LA, come on. Jill, yeah. You can do there you it. go. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> so nice. Anybody else have on? We still got um, Lee here. Lee, do you want to say anything? Or Betsy? I'm just listening. Yeah, you're you're listening in the dark there. <laughs> I see the side. The dark. <laughs> How about a vet or Melissa? <laughs> Betsy, hi. <laughs> you guys, you can probably all unmute now. We have a small enough group now where you know oh. we talk over each other. <laughs> Oh, well, hello. <laughs> Hi. Hey. It's so nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. And Sonia over there, you're you're out of the country, right? Yeah. He's in India. India. Yeah. Um, Lee's in the UK. Uh, Bradley's in Australia. You've got people all over. In a very wet UK. Oh yeah. <laughs> very wet North and very cold. And I'm in North Thanks. Dakota. Oh, North Dakota, sad. burr, it's a cold like New at, York. At the moment <laughs> in Australia, in Sydney at the moment, it's, it's oh. overcast, it's raining, it's ah. cold. <laughs> it's it's so sunny here. <laughs> oh, I love San Diego, it's so pretty. Yeah. Uh, it's sunny here in Kentucky, I can't even tell. Way. I have, it, have the windows closed, uh, the blinds closed. So I wouldn't <laughs> know. Nope. Uh, and who's Skyler? Skylar is this little girl that I've been taking care of since she was a baby. I don't know if she's... Ah. Are you still in here? So it's so funny. Skylar and I were watching The Mandalorian last night, and she said, Jill, 
I know what I want to do when I'm older. I said, what? She said, I want to be a stormtrooper. And I said, why? And then she <laughs> said, you know, I just want to be, you know, because she's always falling. <laughs> and I said, gosh, you should ask Judy, how does she get into you know, how to get into the business if you want. Well, it's trooper on the it's hit and miss for sure. <laughs> I have. Those. She doesn't want to be one of the choked ones, or you know, she doesn't want to be the one that's shot and falls. What channel is the Mandalorian on? Uh, Disney Plus. Oh. Oh, yeah. No, we're gonna sign on this. It's a great. It's a great show. Yesterday was the season <laughs> finale of season two. I, I have those pictures ready. Oh, okay, oh, good. You. Give you a second. Oh, gosh, three of us have our book club shirts on today. That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Okay, that's that's me right after the ship goes down. Uh, Kate would have been over to the right there. Yeah. We actually... Uh, had a hold of each other that was that was one one of the things that i wish had uh they had shown that a little bit better because we actually had a hold of each other where we were pushing you know pushing back and forth on each other we had we grabbed our life vests no that's not me oh <laughs> Pictures, that's actually but... cc that's me right there that was that's, all, that's that. all i did that was that's what, all... these are pictures alan sent in <laughs> yeah that's that's me right up front there and they actually had a a shot from the other side where you could actually Darn. see me but unfortunately well, that, 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 was this where you're the praying girl the yes basically the praying girl yeah wait so you have a lot of names you're the praying girl you're the yeah body person. <laughs> um, now where are you at here I don't, we're not in that scene, but this is part of the mayhem. No, oh, not there. Those are the stunt ladies. Crazy. Now, Ellen and I were in this scene uh, in between the two davits there. We're yeah. somewhere right in there where the two davits are. Oh, too bad we couldn't zoom in. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to have to watch the movie again together, guys, and play. Where's yep. Judy and Ellen? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Where? Where? Oh, oh, wow. right there oh you the look very distressed. Oh, well, there. See, oh, God. It's when it's when uh, Kate jumps back in onto the ship. Yeah, Kate jumps the back oh, in. Oh, yeah, yeah. you. Oh, yeah. that's right. Wow, you're right there. All right, guys. Now we know yeah. where to look for Judy next time we watch. <laughs> you look really distressed, too. You look. Oh, there's Don. <laughs> there's Don. There's Don. Yay. Playing well, we didn't know. Sweater. We didn't know if we could get into that lifeboat. That's what we were supposed to try to do, but it didn't work mm -hmm. out that way. We sank. <laughs> For the longest time, I thought that was Don's real son. <laughs> <laughs> He's playing on Douglas Spedden. These are, yeah. oh, go back. These are pictures on the father, now the that, Father Brown photos. Right. So of course, that's Don, and that's Ralph Cox there. He was such a great guy. I mean, he was so, so much fun. Him and his wife were in, on the set together. Oh, wow. Yeah, I there I am, my gray scarf right there. That's, that's it. And he, there's Ellen, right? She's the red. Oh, is that you with off. your hands on him then? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And, so. and so. Um, and where's Ellen? I think that's her right there, the redhead to the okay. to his oh, left. Okay. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of hard to tell if she's she was holding the baby. She's holding a baby. I can't tell if the baby's in that one or not. The baby's there. I can see the baby but right there. He would like. What, like what like I said, he when they yell cut, he would he would push us away and tell us to go to hell and <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> People are sick. Leave me alone. Stop touching me. You know, oh stuff like that. You're like, hey, it was geez. hilarious. He I mean, was laughing. Yeah, that's Ellen. Because <laughs> there's the baby. You can see the baby. Uh, oh, she's so so right right here they actually we had to have blocks of wood under our feet to hold us in that position because we were at such an angle i think right here we were more at like uh 15 degrees so they said okay we want you to let go and slide down the deck and that's where they we ended up at the bottom of the deck and uh then 
they said, okay, now act like the ship has leveled itself and everybody grabs hold of each other. We're safe. We're going to be okay. And then they cut that out. But he, he was really funny. I was going to say, no, I should cook. sorry. Uh, you guys really need to get the three disc uh, set because uh, there is so much good material on there just besides the movie itself. Uh, all the extra stuff and how they did the movie and how they did all the scenes and everything else. It's a fabulous set and uh, it, it really has a lot more insight into what Judy and Ellen and everybody went through. It really does. Didn't they um, release a 3D version on Blu-ray, I heard? Yeah, they did. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if the Blu-ray version has got all that extra stuff on it as the collector's edition. No, I don't I think- I would love to see it back in the theater. Ever. Oh, go ahead. I, I don't think it does because I bought it and I was a little disappointed it didn't have all that stuff in there. I don't even know why I bought it. I don't have a 3D Blu-ray player. So. <laughs> <laughs> there's a uh, there's a link to the three disc collector's edition in uh, Amazon that I put up, and uh, that's the one that I have. It's the uh, uh, the special collector's edition, <laughs> and that has the three discs and all the uh, extra stuff and the commentaries. And oh, it's wonderful! Yeah. It is absolutely wonderful. It is wonderful. I agree. Skylar, are you there? Skylar wants to go, but she wants to say yeah. hi before she goes. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Are you going to put your camera on so bye. she can meet you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Goodbye, everyone. Oh, there she is. Okay. Bye. Bye. Skylar's my okay, buddy. I've known her was, since she was a baby. <laughs> she was the one that was dancing earlier. <laughs> yes. There you <we> go. <laughs> bye. Oh, Skylar, meet Sonia. That's Sonia I wanted you to meet. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> I was trying to connect to Richard, Sonia. <laughs> which special edition are you talking about? Because I'm now I'm confused because I that's what I have. Oh, I, have three the, I have the Blu-ray plus DVD plus digital copy. It's the three disc uh set. 10th anniversary. It's the 10th anniversary edition. Yeah, I have the one that's well, that's not what I have. I have the one that's blue and it says special collector's edition. And I believe the link to Amazon, if you look, it's the DVD. It's not the Blu-ray and everything else. It's just the three disc DVD stuff. Um, and uh, uh, mine, mine just says special collector's edition on it. Um, I don't know when it came out, but um, the special features on it are... Uh, disc one commentary by James Cameron, cast and crew commentary, uh, historical commentary, and then uh, branching to behind the scenes features. Uh, same with uh, disc two. And then uh, uh, it has the disc two has the uh, alternate ending. <coughs> and then uh, the uh, special behind the fe scenes features. And then disc three has the deleted scenes, the um, uh, Fox special on breaking new ground, the press kit, the 1912 newsreel, uh, mm -hmm. construction time lapse, deep dive presentation, yeah. video matic special effects breaks down, still galleries, which includes- What's it the, called, Titanic? Yeah, the still galleries, what we have. And yeah, it's the still galleries, the core extras one, mm -hmm. there are- like seven still galleries on there but the core extra one has has you guys on it yeah, um yeah. it is it mine just says titanic special collector's edition and it's a three disc set yeah you have to look make sure it's the three disc set because the three discs have all the i remember when i got it, i was like no one talk to me everyone go away time <laughs> with ken and don <laughs> now when i watch it i can say go away and watching with Ellen and Judy. <laughs> I, I, I have this in my DVD collection, but I, I rip all my movies to my hard drive because it's easier for me to find. And when you guys were talking about this the other night, it's like, wait, I think I've got that because I actually wore out the original one and I found this one at a pawn shop to replace the one I wore out. So. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have it. Oh, look, I thought I have it, and I do have it. I found oh, it. Oh, yes, that's what it looks like. Yep. I thought and then I you open it. it up, it's like a three. Yeah, it's yeah. got the little. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's yeah. the one I have, exactly. Okay, yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to look into that more. Yeah, and there's just so many, you can, there's so many extras that I didn't even. Really yeah, I, you'll no, definitely you enjoy. Uh, you'll <laughs> definitely enjoy that time lapse construction too. That'll oh, show I'll, you how the construction of the set. I'm gonna have to. Oh, I haven't seen that either. No, I haven't either. Yeah. I'm, I'm in that one too. I go, okay. I'm doing the open, 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 that's me. <laughs> well, when we were looking at all the and pictures Richard, at the I'm end, it says compliments of Judy and Ellen. <laughs> so anyway, are we just about done? Did anybody have well, anything is, else? And um, else I, yeah, there was anything? one question I'd like to ask. Um, when you are doing the set and acting out, was it easy or was it really hard to do? Uh, well, it all depends on what we were doing. Uh, ours was more physical because uh, we were in the water and running and jumping and in rowboats and uh, acting wise, we just had to uh, listen to what they were expecting. Um, <laughs> We didn't. What I was we really were... interested in is uh, when you wear all those costumes, mm -hmm. were they really heavy? I mean, well, we had wetsuits on most of the time. Wow, under the... so it was really heavy. Um, and we were wet. <laughs> so, was the, wa the it, water cold? It, in the three foot deep tank, it was like 76 degrees, but we had we were in, exposed for so long. That's why we had to wear the wetsuits. And then out in the uh, main tank, that was 52 degree ocean water. So we had six mil sets of suits on under that. Oh, that's, that must be really, really yeah. cold. Yeah. And we were limited on the times we could be in the water, of course, because they didn't want people getting hypothermia. So, can I ask a question? Um, did you ever get a, some sort of feeling like, like you were back there? in time? You like you were on the Titanic? Yes. In previous life, and you think, well, oh, no, not not in a previous life, but you could let your imagination take over, especially in, in on the ship at night. Uh, we the ship was located near near the ocean, so you could hear hear the waves and if it was quiet and you got to sit out there and you could just close your eyes and and just imagine that you were really on on because uh, like look at her on the the, the vision oh, yeah. like mm -hmm. see yeah see behind jill there that's yeah, how close really... we were to the water we were probably a, a couple hundred three hundred feet but yeah. when you got when you're up on that deck and you just kind of sit back and look over the rail and you see that ocean out there Ugh. uh it it was really it was surreal and, and it, the set, set was fabulous the set was yeah. fabulous so there's just no uh that's the closest that anybody's going to get is walking on the deck of titanic is is that replica that jim built out there well, when, when it came out to Brisbane in sometime in 1997, I went for the film eight times. Uh -huh. So I liked the Titanic so much, I've become a, a freak, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're great. Oh, wow, we are so grateful for your time and coming in here. And can you hear me? We'll have Joseph? to watch the movie with you again and play a little more. Oh, go ahead, Joseph. Yeah. Let's say, hope, uh, Judy, I'm hoping to change that fact of that last statement you just mentioned about that'll be the closest you can possibly. Oh, our Titan project. <laughs> okay, that is one goal, and that will get done. I know. Joseph, we need to get you on Zoom and you can talk about your project and hook yeah. it up. I'd love to. Put I'd you up to. on our YouTube channel and everyone could. Whatever you want, uh, I'm all for it. <laughs> yeah, his project's great, and it, it involves also helping children, you know. That's the main focus. Richard, you got those last couple pictures I sent up? Speaking of. 
Uh, that's her book, guys, and it's available in book form, paperback, or ebook. Is it also in hard copy? No, not hard copy. Okay. Now, if you if you look down, just like above uh, the T and the H, those are actual rocks. <laughs> <laughs> down down on the that beach. Real? That's down is on the beach. Real? Yeah. Yes, this is the this is the sunset when Kate and Leo are out. I'm flying. I'm flying. That's oh the sunset. Gosh, she's in yeah. that right same spot. Well, not they were up forward on the on the. Uh, this was this was towards the back. This would be a, oh, looking that's over right. The stern. Yeah, the decking is different. This is looking over the stern, and you can see yeah. the tilt of the ship right there. You can see that it's not level. That railing. What was, oh, what was Kate? What was Kate and Leon were like? What Kate, was, they what were they were like? they were really nice. Kate had a potty mouth. Um, <laughs> she did. <laughs> oh yeah, they all did. They all did, and they all smoked like fiends. They all smoked like they fiends. All smoked cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but they were nice. Leo and I had about a twenty-minute conversation one night. Uh, when they were running up and down the staircase, you know, getting shot at and everything, we sat down there and while they were doing uh, Billy Zane stuff, and he was he was talking to me. He was sick, you know. So um, at the time, I'm 40 years old, so he's 21, 20, 21. So my my son uh, is the same age. So I was telling him I have two boys, the, you know, about his age. And he was like, Oh, wow, that's really cool. You know, I can't believe you got boys that, that age. And, and, uh, so I told him some stuff to take so he could get his, you know, like echinacea and stuff like that. Cause we were all <laughs> taking stuff to stay mm -hmm. healthy. Cause we had so much, uh, we were in the water, we were cold, we were hot, you know, that kind of stuff. So I got sick down there, I think, two or three times. Um, so, and I actually had to stay down there for a week because I had uh, like a respiratory infection. <laughs> yeah, wow. I would imagine people get sick in and out of that freezing cold water. And then yeah. I think you mentioned that they finally gave you a hot tub so you could warm up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They, they had hot tubs and everything to warm us up. Yeah. yeah, I can imagine your immune system was like, but it was all worth it. No yeah. pain, no gain. It right? was. <laughs> I always, I always say that it was the, uh, the hardest and best job I ever had. <laughs> wow. I, I think, I think you are a real star. I mean, you look like a, a real star. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, thank you so much for your time. And, uh, and Richard, you got those I last get, couple. How can I get you? Oh, book? yeah, he's got some more picture. And we love having you in the book club. Uh, it's, it's on Amazon, Bradley. Oh, it's on Amazon. And you know how yeah. much it costs? Um, I'm not sure. I think it's okay. 14, 14, 15, about, uh, maybe That's $15. About right. And then you can do to get the ebook. Yeah, you can get I put email. a look, link in the book club in the kit and the Kindle, <laughs> or I'll send yeah. it to you, Bradley. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and see if I can order on Amazon, but I, I can't guarantee. I'll send you. I'll send one. you a link to Amazon. Uh, you must have a UK though, Amazon, right? Well, thanks very much, Joe. I appreciate that. Oh no problem. Happy to help. Yeah, fourteen ninety-five US. I want you guys dollars. to see those last couple photos. I yeah, sent Richard's Richard. guy. I think he's footing up. Yeah. Jill, you said that was an ebook. You can get the the fourteen dollars is the book, and then the ebook. Is that on Kindle or what is that on? You know? Yeah, you can get it for your Kindle. I'll have to get that. The Kindle is seven ninety five. The paperback is fourteen ninety five. I can send you the link too, Jill. I'll do that today. Yeah, it's great. Oh my gosh, you feel like you're there. You're like, <gasps> and then you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> for life that was an experience especially for us you know titanic and all right Brad, okay that's that's uh ghost of the abyss and that's my daughter-in-law they put her in a red wig as well and uh that was one of the scenes she did how old is she how old was she at the time she, oh gosh She's I got my 40, book, not to remember. She's 44 now. 
So goes to the abyss was on three. What's that? Uh, she's like 30 something, I think. Okay, wow, she looks so young. Maybe we have ghosts of the abyss. I can't. You're ghost asking me to you're asking me to think. You're asking Sorry. me to think. <laughs> That was such a great documentary. I saw that in um, 3D IMAX. And, and, yeah. And, now, yeah. that's Jim. He's instructing us as we come on to the ship and uh, what he wanted us to do. This that's when I was skinny. Correct. <laughs> Everyone's skinny then. I asked Don, I know. Mitch, you know, like, I, I was skinny. <laughs> Don said he can't fit into that uh, outfit you know, so <laughs> you know, suit anymore. <laughs> now, remember I told you about when they threw me into the life uh, boat the last time we were on? Yeah, They actually threw me in the lifeboat in that outfit. And that was the vintage outfit that the satin burned on my knee, on my shins, that it put a mark into it. I don't know if they can fix that or what, but that's a, that was a vintage dress. Yeah. So, oh <laughs> anyway. just one question I like to ask: How many people on the set? It all depended on what we were doing. Um, there were twenty five hundred when we did the dock scene, and uh, I think about fifteen hundred when we did the running up the deck at, during the sinking. Um, that was not normal. Those were only, uh, I think. Uh, probably a total of two weeks out of the whole shoot, maybe less, depending on uh, uh, how long it took us. Because all, all those scenes running up the deck were all taken at night. We'd started filming, you know, at dark, you know, at dusk. Uh, so that's all natural lighting. And of course, when the sun come, started coming up, we had to quit. And so they would do things during the day, but those were small groups, you know, like with, with Kate and Leo and Billy Zane and all, you know, when they did the, all the corridor scenes. Um, normally there'd be, you know, 250 people on the set, you know, and I think there was a small group of, of 20 of us that did the scene when uh, Billy Zane's shooting at him down the staircase. So it, it just all depended on what they were doing that day. Uh, the, set, the set you were on, uh, where, where the ship, the back part of it was tilted, uh -huh. did you have to hang on? They've, they had, a, they, we actually had harnesses that they put on us, like uh, mountain climbing equipment. It was underneath our, our costumes. They've made slits in the sides of our of our outfits so they could put the snaps on them, and then they would secure us to the to the uh, railing. Mm -hmm. I tell I, I talk about that how they put us on the railing and the the uh, wind and everything. Did you read that, Jill? Do I about know? being on the poop deck and and the wind coming down and hitting those the hitting those screens like big sails and oh that's knocking right, in the yes. side of the ship yeah i saw i saw a photograph about a couple of weeks back off the poop deck the back of where the name has named titanic liverpool mm -hmm. i saw it on facebook and it looks so totally different now it, it looks so old but i'm trying to work out where that where that photograph's taken because i don't know where it is Hmm. Do you yeah, think you'll have, have like a 25th anniversary, like I, reunion or anything? I would, or? I would love to, but I, you know, Jim's got himself set up in New Zealand. He's got his his Malibu house is up for sale. I know they still have the one where they have the the school up in Santa Barbara. Oh, I saw. And, that. I follow his school. Uh, and, um, what but, about on Zoom? Maybe you could have because you know a lot of these. <laughs> Movie stars are all getting on Zoom and getting together. I don't know what I don't know if he if he's going to do anything at all. I, I really don't. I I'm sure that that Ellen and me and Don and Ken and maybe Parks and you know some some of the other people might get together, uh, like we've 
you know, we've gotten together a lot over the past years uh, and nice. we might, we might do something like that. Maybe go up to the queen Mary. I don't know. Yeah. Hopefully we all of this it. craziness will be done. I know soon. it's like, they open everything back up and then they yeah. just said they closed Titanic Belfast again. You know, <laughs> they just keep opening. And oh, I got to get a handle on this. We're, we're talking, my son's wanting to go, uh, to Ireland this next year and i'm going to be going with them and that was one of the places we want to go is to belfast of course mm. and i don't know what i don't know what they're going to do i i i'll go with <laughs> yeah, i want to go to belfast too i'll I go with you, you. <laughs> go to the Reunion. i need to, to go i need to talk to don to see to see what's the best <laughs> places to like eat and stuff there because i think oh been, i know some friends that live there been, they could help oh, out yeah. oh okay <laughs> yeah okay. i've got some really close friends um that live right in belfast and really? we actually have a, a tour guide friend who actually gave us a doc tour he'd be really helpful oh nice Colin, he's in the book club. we should all go together That'd be fun. Yeah, let's all get together. Oh, bye, bye. I got my passport. I'm ready to go. I need to get my passport. So, <laughs> can, can someone tell me what was what was going on in Ken Marshall like? I'm I'm sorry. What was that? What is Ken and Don like? What were they like? Were they like? Were they nice what? people? Oh yeah, and Ken and Don, Don are, are Ken and Don They're are great. Really nice. I, I mean, I. Every time I get on the phone with Don, I can always count on it being on for an hour. <laughs> it's funny. We have, we just talk about so many different things. You know, it's not just Titanic. Uh, uh, his, the architecture, the tours that he does, you know, the what's going on, you know, with his house and our cats and, you know, stuff like that. <laughs> we, just, we have a great time. Yeah, a lot of Titanic people like cats. Raise your hand if you like cats. <laughs> I like dogs too, but I got yeah, I, I'm, I'm a dog person. Dog person right here. Dog person right here. I, I know. I thought Ken. I always thought. I always thought Ken was so funny. We we met at a, one of the conventions. I thought he was just so funny. yeah. Anyway, I got to I got to. All right, thank you so here. much. Thank you. Oh, it's wow, already. It's already. Yeah. Please. Thank you. Just a minute. Thank, thank you. you. Got, got one thing. And, so I hear somebody, look for Judy. <laughs> I hear somebody saying they wanted something yeah, else. It's me. Uh, oh, Sonia? Mm -hmm. Oh. I would like to ask how I'm going to give you this drawing. Oh, my goodness. Can you um, show everybody again? I'm going to spotlight this, you. Look at what she did. She just was started fabulous. working on this a couple of days ago. She's very that's, talented. That's amazing. That's um, really good. Jill, I guess we're going to have to talk, uh, uh, you know, get her the information. I don't know <laughs> um you can mail it to us to me uh maybe we can figure out how to scan it in yeah or how to, to figure yeah. it out FedEx. yeah make a copy yeah What'd we'll say, work on Jane? that yeah that sonia that is just beautiful thank you so much that's can just, i see the picture I didn't see it. yeah hold oh, it up she, again. Uh, bradley didn't see it i'm gonna pin her again look at that she drew that picture of ellen and i off that Oh wow! Beautiful. Just off a just a picture that she had. Yeah. Very nice. So good. Beautiful. She's so talented. You know, she is just delightful. We just met her, you know, a few months ago, I and mean, we met on Instagram. And um, she's joined the book club team. She does a daily posting of passenger birthdays and um, information about them and photos, and really yeah. brings the passengers to life. She's we just love her. She's awesome. Great talent there. Yeah. Can I ask Thank what time much. is over in America at the moment? Uh, it, right it, now it is 12 o'clock noon. It's 3.09 here Eastern Standard Time. Well, I can tell you the time in Sydney. It's, it's 1.39 p.m. here. 7.09 a.m. in Australia. Okay, so is it, you're already Sunday? Yeah, already we're Sunday? on Sunday, yeah. and you're yeah. you're 16 hours behind us. So we're sa we're this is Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. Who's ahead of me then? Yeah, it's three o'clock in New York. Three o nine. Wow, two hours. Oh, uh, have a great one. Well, fun Thanks, folks. Sonia, I'll get together with Jill there, and she can. Yeah. You know, we'll figure this okay. out. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much.
Thank and you, have everyone. a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year. You too, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Be happy safe. new year. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, Merry stay Christmas. safe. Thank, Thank you. you.